Hi, welcome to IT214 Database Fundamentals, your first step in becoming a database expert. My name is Mihai Boiku and I am the course coordinator and the course designer for IT214. This is a required course in the Bachelor of Science and in Information Technology program and has many sections offered each academic year. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce the general structure of the course and the rationale behind this organization. The course is organized in nine top-level modules or pages that can be accessed from the Blackboard main menu. There are five supporting modules, Home, Getting Started, Extra Credit, my grades and the link to the standard help system. The main material of the course is organized in four content modules, database design, structure query language, SQL, project and the final exam. In this video we will briefly discuss about their content and organization. The content is organized in four parts for a total of 100 points. The first part will introduce the basic knowledge and skills about database design. It has five modules, each for six points, for a total of 30 points. The second part is similar in structure with the first part and teaches how to implement a design in a real database using the Structure Language Query or SQL has the same structure as the first part being divided in five modules each for six points for a total of another 30 points. At the end of the course you will create a project for a database based on an original real world inspired case study going through all the phases involved in the design and implementation. This is done in four modules each for five points. The course ends with a comprehensive exam covering both the design and SQL knowledge and skills. The exam is another 20 points. The first part is related to database design. It is organized in five learning modules with five corresponding evaluation modules. Each learning module is focused on one main design aspect and contains unsupervised learning activities for a total of four points per module. There are both graded and not graded activities. We'll start discussing about designing an entity for a database, designing relationships between entities, creating more complex designs, organizing entities in hierarchies, and normalizing a database. For each module, there is a corresponding evaluation quiz that will be taken in a supervised environment. Each quiz is two points, in the final grade for a total of 10 points and has 30 minutes duration. In a face-to-face -face setting, the quiz is taken in the next class. In the online courses, the quizzes are grouped in a single supervised exam taken at the end of the design modules. However, the structure and the content of the quizzes is similar in both cases. All the learning modules have a similar structure and presentation. We'll explain in more details the first module, Design 1, that presents single entity design. Each learning module starts with an overview that summarizes the content, the tasks to be performed, the learning objectives and the topics covered. Next, we provide alternative references to the presentation of the content, differs in format and length, 
They are provided both for an initial reading, but also for further clarification and enrichment. The next section is focusing on the most important topics, knowledge and skills, that are expected to be acquired. They are incrementally introduced and tested. After the basics are understood, a guided case study is presented, including grading activities. In order to start the assignments, a passing grade is required on the previous activities. The assignments test both the theory and skills based on real-world cases. In the end, a collaborative reflection graded exercise is provided related to the current module. 